Recently, one of the greats of RPG development came out in an interview, namely Josh Sawyer, talking about how he felt somewhat limited and constrained when working on Pillars 1 and Pillars of Eternity 2. And I thought before we launch into this discussion, it might be wise to cite what he says, which I'll do right now. Quote, I've been playing D&D since 1985 and other tabletop role-playing games along the way. When I got into the industry in 1999, the first game that I got to work on was Icewind Dale. And so I was like, yeah, I was so stoked. And now when talking about Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2, he says, Honestly, I have to say it felt like the most compromised games I worked on were Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2. Because when I came back to that format, oh, I worked on these two Icewind Dale games, and then I worked on Neverwinter Nights 2, and now I have a bunch of new ideas for how differently I would do it if I were doing it on my own. But they were crowdfunded games, and the audience was like, no, we want D&D. We want exactly the same experience as the Infinity Engine games. So what we see here is this conflict between crowdfunding, which is what the customer, the gamer wants, and potentially what the developer might want. And as you probably are aware, Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2 were crowdfunded. So what we see here essentially is a conflict between the wishes of the developer who wanted to work on a certain type of project and add his two cents, as it were, to the new project and what the crowdfunders wanted. Now, the crowdfunders at the time wanted a game that was very reminiscent of Baldur's Gate and Weisswind Dale and all these Infinity Engine games. And unfortunately, at least from the perspective of Josh Sawyer, he felt somewhat compelled to cater to that wish. After all, the games were crowdfunded by people who wanted that. And it really begs the question, I think fundamentally, as to whether or not we like these games because of the nostalgia effect, at least we old fogies, or because of some other reason. Because I'm personally not really wedded to the notion that every game needs to be some replica of an isometric RPG from the days of yore. It can be, and I don't have anything against that fundamentally, and hell, I even enjoy it to some degree. But I would have been just as interested if Josh Sawyer had come out and said, look, we're going to work on this type of game, and I want to add these new ideas, these new concepts to it, and it will be somewhat deviant from the old format. Because I trust, frankly speaking, his experience, and I think as a customer, it might be worth it to trust in Josh Sawyer's experience as well in this regard. And sometimes I have to catch myself acknowledging that a lot of my fondness for things, whether it's games or films, might in fact be rooted in nostalgia, might in fact be rooted in the reality that I'm no longer young, and a lot of things that I appreciated are no longer appreciated by the younger folk these days. And companies and developers have to adapt to that. But I think in this case, it's a little different. I think that Josh Sawyer really wanted to bring something new, potentially, to Pillars of Eternity, games which I thoroughly enjoyed, but ultimately felt compromised in this regard. But what I'm really interested in hearing is actually your opinions and your takes on this, what you think about Josh Sawyer making that comment that he felt compromised making Pillars of Eternity. This could theoretically apply to the making of any game, and whether or not you, whether you're old, young, or in between, feel particularly wedded to a certain format for games because of nostalgia, or because you just think they're better? Or does it not bother you? Because I think a prime example of this is Baldur's Gate 3, ultimately. Is it not? Because Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, Infinity Engine games, and when Baldur's Gate 3 was announced, looking, frankly speaking, very similar to Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2, a lot of people were up in arms about that. And even though that would have been nice on some level, I'm also not so rigid as to say it had to be that way which is why I have largely, if not fully, embraced Baldur's Gate 3 in its current incarnation. So I'd be very curious to hear what you have to say and think about this matter. Should games retain their old nostalgic feeling? Should developers be given free reign to create new products that are spiritually successors to these old games, that are successors in the most robust sense of an RPG? Or would you prefer them to recreate the past as much as possible? It's not a criticism if you think that. I'm just curious. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, as it really helps out the channel. And I'll check you out next time. Take care.